Okay, really quickly, this is section 2.5 class video. Um, we're only going to do one problem for this video. It's right here. We're going to jump right into it. Um, you can go ahead and pause it if you want to and go ahead and write down what it is. And if you want to try, I encourage you to try and see how far you can get in the thinking at least if not how confident you are to write something down so that we can see just how good you're getting at this. If you can get all the way through it, oh my God, that's awesome. If you can't, that's fine. Get as far as you can, as far as you feel confident. If it turns out you're not doing something right, it's okay, you're writing in pencil. You can always erase it, it's all right. Everything's cool. So go ahead and write this, pause the video, because I'm getting ready to jump into it. Go ahead and write it down and go ahead and give it a try and let's see how far you can get. If you don't get all the way through it, everything is fine. Okay. Holy shit, I'm not going to count to one, two, three anymore. Um, nice, pretty color. Pink. Pink will do. So, given that AVR is congruent to DVC, that's this one here is congruent to that one there. They want us to prove that ABC, this little one, is congruent to BBR, that little one. Okay, this is kind of like number 16 that we did, kind of, sort of. So maybe you already know what you're doing. So angle ABR, is congruent to angle DVC. Hope you got this one. And your reason should have been given. And then I hope you spent some time looking at it before you jumped, but kind of interested in jumping. And you said that the measure of angle AVR is equal to, not congruent, the measure of angle DVC. We know that because they're numbers, so they have to be equal. Angles are congruent, numbers are equal. And that's the definition of congruency. Congruent angles. Then, I hope you said something to the effect of measure of angle AVR minus the measure of angle CBR is equal to the measure of angle DVC minus the measure of angle CBR. And that was the subtraction property of equality. So basically, I took the big one and separated out this middle one right there. Took it out, just like we did in the other one. And then I'm going to simplify by saying what's left. That gives me the measure of angle ABC is equal to the measure of angle DBR. Now, I want to say something really quick. Okay. I know that when you were looking at it, you might have said angle RVD. And while RVD and DVR are the exact same angles, we both know that. If you say it the way you need it to be said in the end, it's simpler for everybody else to understand. So there are some people, I'm not one of those people, but there are some people who are nitpicky enough to say that you have what to say if you call it angle RVD, but you mean DVR. There are some people who are nitpicky enough to say you're going to have to make another statement that says that angle RVD is congruent to angle DVR so that you could have it written that way. 
and it would have to be congruent angles, not the measure of their angles. Even though we know the measure of them is true, you'd have to say it is congruent angles because we're talking about how you form the angle specifically. And that becomes important when we get to triangles. In triangles, we do have to kind of be that nitpicky because all the angles are different and we have to make sure we're talking about the right angle when we're talking about um, corresponding angles. So you can't just pick the angle whatever you want it to be. Here it's a little more free flowing, but I don't want you to get caught by something in the back of the book when it says one thing and you meant another and is it okay? And for right now it's okay. But when we get triangles, it will not be okay. So if you know they're gonna write it this way eventually, go ahead and write it that way when you're talking about it. Moving on. We know that's true because I simplified both sides. So it is just like yesterday. It's not a property to simplify, it's just something that happens. And then we know that angle ABC is congruent to angle DVR by the definition of congruency. And look, we don't have to have it there. So I can erase it. It's that simple. That's problem number nine. That's the only one I'm doing today. Not the only one you're doing today. Classwork for this section, because we gotta make it for yesterday. Problem number one, there are a whole bunch of problems in problem number one. It's on page 70. It's the practice exercises, in case you're wondering, there is no other problem number one on page 70. There's a lot to problem number one. If you have a question about problem number one, text me, make sure you're done with all your stuff by, by uh, 12 o'clock your time, sorry, nine o'clock your time, 12 o'clock my time. And then, Homework, not as short. Numbers six, seven, and eight. And in numbers six, seven, and eight, they are not asking you to do proofs. They are asking you to give them an answer. But if you don't know the theorems and the postulates, etc., you're not going to be able to get to the answer. Now, about the review for the test. You have one day to review. There will be a review. I will tell you what it is. I'll tell you not actually what it is. Um, because I haven't made out the test yet. So as of right now, I'm not sure what the review is going to be because I'm not sure what the test is gonna be. Um, I will be the one who gives you the answers to the review. So if it's something out of the book, you don't have to worry about looking in the back of the book for the answers. They'll be sent to your mom. Same thing about the test. I will be the one making out the test. If it happens to be problems out of the book, which it could be, I don't know that it will be. Either way, I'll be the one grading it. So make sure you do it the way I want you to do it. Don't default to whatever you see in the book. Okay? All righty. That's the end of chapter two. Woohoo! Two down. What do we got? 11 more to go. I think so. I think we're only going up through chapter 13. I think my mom taught me back into chapter 13. No, I think she taught me back into 14. Ah, 12 more to go. That's a long way. But look, they're pretty short. It's nowhere near as long as it was last time. You get to kind of relax this time. We're not rushing as much. Everything will be fine. Good and wonderful. See you later.